Hi, Millie. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living all my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a hey. fall. Hey! This yes. light is very bright. Okay. You start. So, <laughs> so we're back again. Um, so we took some time, but it is has been very apparent to me that people really watch these videos. I didn't think they did, but y'all really watch these videos and we appreciate y'all a lot. Anyway, so today the topic is going to be, wait, what did I say? I had a really good catchphrase. Uh, how strong is your marriage or what did I say? Dang. You don't know how strong your marriage is until an event happens. So having kids, somebody loses their job, anything. CJ was talking to somebody and um, the conversation came up of, you know, you could be happily married for eight, 10 years or whatever, but if nothing has changed, then you really don't know how strong your marriage is. Like you haven't had any kids. Nobody's lost a job. You came into the marriage financially stable, which a lot of people say that they want to be financially stable. But until you've been broke together, you really don't know if y'all can make it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you were still going. No, no. Go ahead. I was letting you chime in. Oh, yeah. Kids change your marriage. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest, the biggest thing is you're growing together financially you're figuring out like a routine, you're traveling, and then a kid comes along and changes all your finances. Um, even when, so someone said before, they don't understand how people who make a certain amount of money can't survive. But when you add daycare, when you add you know, food, when you add diapers, when you add things to your marriage, then you have to regroup and figure it out and you're gonna argue about it. Mm -hmm. It's funny because um, we watched the ultimatum. Well, I watched the ultimatum and then he was just in the room. He could have, you know, went with it or not. Anyways, majority of the couples that were given the ultimatum were like, I want to be financially stable or I want to do this. And, you know, they had this mindset of what it would look like. But I'm telling you, you can go into a marriage making six figures you know, having a savings account with another six figures. But that is not going to mean that you're going to have a perfect marriage. No, it's your child. Yeah, it's which, Carter. who is that? It's Carter. Carter. Upstairs. Here you go. Come in. Come in. Because she ain't going to sit up there. Come in. Because her sister in there. Come on. Come on. What is she doing? I don't know. Stand back there. Anyway, don't lay on me. Sit up. So, the point is, is that, yeah, okay, you know, you get married and everything's great and, you know, y'all are just balling, traveling all over the world, but then boom, something happens. Can you recoup from that? Can y'all work together to figure out that next step? Can y'all become a team to say, okay, this happened, but we're going to keep it moving. We still going to stay above water. Can that happen? Can you have kids just drop in out of nowhere and change the whole dynamic of what you got going on? Yeah, I think I think everybody spits that they're happy the first couple years, the first year when nothing's changed and then things start changing and you find out that if you can't adapt to it, then you're selfish. <laughs> I mean, like... I honestly, I would rather be playing the game, doing what I like to do versus feeding a child, changing diapers, making sure that somebody's okay, sleep, not sick. Right? Mm hmm. But you just keep it moving. You yeah. do what you got to do. Yeah, even if you lose a job, I mean, you got to adapt to it. Um, I, we, I personally went from, you know, making a certain amount of money and then making ten thousand dollars less, and we adapted to it. We 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 sold our house. We moved back into an apartment until we could afford to move back out, 
and I think we even sold a car. I sold my motorcycle mm -hmm. to, so to motorcycle. yeah. So it's just a lot of people aren't willing to aren't willing to change mm -hmm. and give up the things that they love to do. I mean, you're gonna get it back once she gets into kindergarten. We got to pay a certain amount of money each each week. Then you know that's some more money in our pocket. And we haven't done that in eight years. So, we got the, one more year. The kicker about this topic is, is this is not about your significant other or your spouse. This is about you. This is about you as a person. Can you adapt to change? And are you willing to adapt to change for that person? Because you will never know if your spouse is able to do that until it happens. Mm -hmm. But are you going into this relationship with the mentality of, okay, whatever comes, I'm going to be there. That's that ride or die mentality. Do you have that ride or die mentality? Carter, Why she say it like do you got a ride or die mentality? I didn't think so. Yeah, you, it's okay. She ain't riding. You selfish. I, she is. <laughs> but it's I have that ride or die mentality. So when it came to that, he decided he didn't want to do that job anymore. And he said he was going to make that pay cut. Okay, bet. Let's do it. We riding. You know what I'm saying? If I wake up tomorrow and I decide I don't want to do my job no more, he already told me that I ain't got to. He already told me that I'm going to be a part of Creative Impressions Media. And I'm there. But I'm not ready to quit my job yet. But he already told me that he riding. We riders. We're going to hit some potholes. Woo! We might flip the car over. Woo! We're going to push it back up. We And change the tires. Hey. Right car. <laughs> We're going to pop out some dents, too. <laughs> now the dents can stay. It ain't that important as long as we can get from A to B. <laughs> so that's the thing. Do you have the mentality? Can you honestly say? that you would do, and it's only gonna be for the right person because if the person ain't right, you ain't gonna do it. But can you honestly look at your spouse or, your, or whoever you in a relationship and say, I'm gonna ride for them no matter what? Hey, can you tell them bye? Why, just all you gotta say is bye. Look at that camera and say bye. Bye y'all. Okay, wave, can you wave? Bye y'all. See, that's how you do it. Now you do it. Bye y'all. I got away, sorry. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living all my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the mall and ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this is what I was made for. Man, I know this what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, and they do whatever I say so. Have chicks that color of the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank low. Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls. And I'm grinding. Money on my mind. And I'm headed to the top. I won't stop until I find.